Have you ever wondered why light travels endlessly crossing the vast expanse of the universe without ever stopping? From the sunlight that warms our planet to the starlight that reveals galaxies billions of light years away, light is always on the move. But why? What makes light so unique that it never comes to rest? To answer that, we need to dive into the very nature of light itself, a phenomenon that fascinated scientists and philosophers for centuries. Light is not just any wave or particle, it is an electromagnetic marvel bound by the fundamental laws of physics. In this short journey, we shall uncover why light keeps going, how it defies the need for a medium and what makes it the ultimate cosmic traveler. So let us shine some light on this mystery. Light is one of the nature's greatest mysteries and at its core lies something truly fascinating. It behaves as both a wave and a particle. This is what scientists call wave particle duality. Let us start with light as a wave. Think of it as ripples on a pond, but instead of water, these ripples are made of electric and magnetic fields. These electromagnetic waves travel through space, carrying energy across vast distances, even when there is no medium like air or water. But here is the twist. Light also acts like tiny packets of energy called photons. Imagine photons as little energy bullets, each carrying a specific amount of energy. These photons explain how light interacts with matter, like when sunlight hits your skin or powers a solar panel. So, is light a wave or a particle? The answer is, it is both, depending on how we observe it. Light reveals its dual nature, reminding us of the incredible complexity of the universe. To understand why light never stops, we need to explore its true identity as an electromagnetic wave. Imagine a dance between two partners, electric fields and magnetic fields. These fields are invisible, but they are constantly intervened. When an electric field changes, it generates a magnetic field, and when a magnetic field changes, it creates an electric field. This self-sustaining interaction allows light to move forward without needing any external help. But here is the best part. Unlike sound waves or water waves, electromagnetic waves don't need a medium to travel through. They don't rely on air, water, or any material at all. Instead, they can travel through vacuum of space, carrying energy across vast distances. This is why sunlight can reach Earth from 150 million kilometers away, crossing the emptiness of space. Another remarkable feature is its speed. In vacuum, Electromagnetic waves travel at the fastest speed possible in the universe, about 300,000 kilometers per second. That is fast enough to circle the Earth even seven times in just one second. Light is just one part of the electromagnetic wave family. It sits right in the middle of the spectrum, sandwiched between radio waves, which have the longest wavelengths, and gamma rays, which have the shortest. What makes light special is that it is the Part of the spectrum we can see bringing color, brightness and life to the world around us. So why does light keep moving? Because it is an electromagnetic wave, a perfect partnership between electric and magnetic fields designed to travel endlessly across the cosmos. One of the most fascinating things about light is that it is made of particles called photons, tiny packets of energy. But here is the catch. Photons are massless. Unlike objects we are familiar with, like a speeding car or even blowing sand grains, photons don't have any rest mass, and yet they carry both energy and momentum, which allows them to keep moving indefinitely. How does this work? Let us break it down. First, photons carry energy, which is proportional to the frequency. The higher the frequency of light, like blue or ultraviolet light, the more energy each photon has. This energy is the fundamental property of the photon, allowing it to interact with the matter in powerful ways, like warming your skin under the sun or powering a solar panel. But energy is not the whole story. Photons also carry momentum despite having no mass. Momentum, as we usually think of it, comes from an object's mass and velocity. So how can something with no mass have momentum? This is where the unique nature of light comes in. Photons derive their momentum purely from their energy. This relationship is described by Einstein's famous equation, which ties energy, momentum, and the speed of light together. Now, here is why this matters. In the vacuum of space, there is nothing to absorb photons, no air resistance, no particles, no obstacles. Their energy and momentum remain unchanged because in a vacuum, there is nothing to absorb or slow them down. This is why sunlight can travel billions of kilometers across the solar system, or why we can see this light from stars that are millions of years old. 
Photons, being massless, are not bound by the usual classical physics rules that slows objects down. Their energy propels them forward at the speed of light and their momentum ensures they stay on this endless journey through space. So, in essence, light never stops because it carries energy and momentum in a way that allows it to defy the constraints of mass and friction, a true marvel of nature and physics. When we think of how light travels, it's natural to compare it to other waves like sound and water waves, but that is a critical difference. Sound waves need air and water waves need water to move. Light, however, needs no such medium. It can travel effortlessly through a vacuum, the vast emptiness of space. But why is a vacuum the perfect medium for light? Unlike physical waves, light is an electromagnetic wave made of oscillating electric and magnetic fields. These fields don't rely on particles or matter to propagate. Instead, they sustain each other as they move forward. In a vacuum, there is no resistance, no air molecules to scatter or absorb the light, no friction to slow it down. So, while it is might seem like nothingness, a vacuum is the ultimate highway for light, a medium where it can move freely, unhindered and forever. While light travels at a staggering speed of 300,000 km per second, the answer lies in the fundamental laws of physics. Light is an electromagnetic wave and its speed is determined by two universal constants, the permittivity and the permeability of free space. These constants define how electric and magnetic fields interact in a vacuum. Together, they set a fixed value for the speed of light, nothing faster, nothing slower. What is remarkable is that the speed is independent of the motion of its source or the observer. Whether the light comes from a distant star or a nearby flashlight, its speed in the vacuum remains the same. This constancy is the foundation of Einstein's theory of relativity, which fundamentally reshaped our understanding of space and time. So, when we look at the stars or marvel at a sunrise, we are witnessing light moving at the one speed it was born to travel, constant, unchanging and extraordinary. One common misconception about light is that it might slow down or stop because it loses energy over time, much like a ball rolling on the ground eventually comes to rest. But this is not how light works, especially in vacuum, let us explore why. In space, light does not experience friction or resistance like physical objects do on Earth. It is made of photons which are massless packets of energy that continue to travel at the speed of light regardless of how far they go. In a vacuum, there is nothing to absorb or scatter the photons so they don't lose their energy or slow down. But what about when light interacts with the matter? This is where energy loss can occur but it is not the same as slowing down when light hits an object. Some of its energy may be absorbed, converted into heat or even transformed into another form of energy like electricity in a solar panel. However, this does not mean the light itself has stopped. It simply ceases to exist in its original form. So, while light can transfer its energy during interactions, it never loses energy just by traveling. In a vacuum, photons continue their journey endlessly, unchanged and unstoppable a testament to the extraordinary properties of light. This constancy is a cornerstone of theory of relativity and has profound consequences. It means that time and space are not fixed. They adjust to preserve the speed of light. If you are moving faster, time slows down for you and distances shrink. This effect, known as time dilation, has been experimentally confirmed and forms the basis for the technologies like GPS. The speed of light also represents the ultimate speed limit in the universe. Nothing with finite rest mass, however small it is, can reach or exceed this speed because doing so would re require infinite energy. Light, being massless, is the only traveler that can achieve this cosmic speed. The light we see from distant stars or galaxies began its journey millions of even billions of years ago. This means that Every beam of starlight is like a time capsule carrying with it a snapshot of what the universe looked like when the light first started traveling. Without light's endless journey, we would not be able to study the origins of the cosmos or understand the evolution of the galaxies, stars and planets. Einstein's theory of relativity tells us that information cannot travel faster than light. This sets the speed of light as the ultimate speed limit of the universe, ensuring that events unfold in a logical, orderly sequence. As we wrap up our exploration of why light never stops, 
let us take a moment to reflect on the key takeaways from what we have learned. First, light is a unique in its nature. It behaves both as a wave and a particle. This wave particle duality allows light to travel through the vacuum of space, carrying energy and information without needing a medium. Next, the vacuum of space plays a crucial role in the light's endless journey. Without the resistance or, or friction found in air or other materials, light moves freely at its constant speed, undisturbed by the vast emptiness of the universe. This is why sunlight can travel billions of kilometers across the space without losing its energy. We also learned that light does not lose energy just by traveling. Even over great distances, photons remain undiminished unless they interact with matter. In vacuum, speed of light is maximum at 300,000 km per second. Finally, we explored how light's constant speed sets the stage for the structure of the space and time itself. As outlined by Einstein's theory of relativity, speed of light governs the very fabric of the universe, ensuring that time and space remain uninterconnected. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more educational content.